Hey everybody in YouTube land, this is Bob Attacks Wrongness here with a little bit of a talk about like, some wrestling thoughts and some stuff I've seen in a week really. I mean I'm going to talk about Victory Road and like Monday Night Raw. I'll start with Victory Road. I only saw a few select matches from here because it took a while till I could find the whole pay-per-view from the internet. So I'll like, start with talking about the X Division match. Like, I'm not going to go into everything, but basically, I think it was a bit overbooked with ten people in it, yeah? But, nonetheless, I enjoyed it, you know? There were some good spots, especially, like, that diamond cutter, Calstead, on Christopher Daniels from, like, the top of the Elevation X platform. And I, like, thoroughly enjoyed it, you know? Because you can tell in TNA, like, no matter what shit booking and gimmicks are happening, yeah? There's, like... A lot of action like goes into the ring and stuff, and I like the finish with a uh, Triple X reforming Skipper, um, Loki, and Christopher Daniels. That was cool. I thought, yeah, good. And um, I saw Rhino against James Storm. I I really enjoyed this match. It was just a bit of a like, you know, usual brawl kind of thing. But I think like James Storm is like pretty good at selling and like I think he's quite a good wrestler altogether and I think Rhino's great like I saw um Isabar's video about Victory Road and he said it's the worst pay-per-view of the year but like how can you say that when there's been like shit like Judgment Day and Vengeance man come on oh this was cool you know at the end of this match like Rhino was like literally beaten again like because he's turned into some kind of fucking jobber and stuff. Which I, I think is a mistake. Because like, I think Rhino is a pretty solid worker, you know. And something else Isabar said. Was that like Rhino's like a gimmick hardcore match person. But no, I don't agree with that at all. I remember the freeway on impact with Christian, Kurt Angle and Rhino. And I thought like Rhino held a lot of that together, to be honest. I think he's a solid worker. Anyway... Another match I really enjoyed was uh, Christian against Chris Harris. I'm hoping like Chris Harris is going to get the push because he's solid as fuck, man, and he's cool. And like this like, whole Christian collect coalition thing, it makes me laugh, you know? I think mean, Christian's like an entertaining guy. And at the end of this, of course, Dustin Runnels, <sighs> gold dust, came and he like... I don't know if he turned on Chris Harris or like just helped Christian get the victory anyhow. But yeah, like he's there, which is which I, I think is quite strange seeing as like Dusty and Cody are in um WWE and all that. But you know, that's that's what he decided and who knows if it'll work out. I'm not I'm kinda like meh 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 about it all. And of course, there's the match of champions, yeah, which was um, Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, against the Dudley Boys, Team 3D. And I thought this match was a lot better than, like, it could have been, like, because they all, like, seem to hold their own. And, like, I like the story of um, the Dudleys arguing and that, but, God, no, like, they, they should retire by now. They're washed up. Washed up. Anyway, like, something I really enjoyed from this match was seeing Kurt Angle do a moonsault again. And I thought it was like quite a good moonsault, you know. Like, I thought like since... I just didn't think he like, had it in him anymore to like do a, a move like that, but that's cool. And I really enjoyed the finish as well, when um, Kurt Angle had Bubba Ray up in the um, Angle Slam, and like Samoa Joe chop-blocked him from underneath, so like... By the way, still got the impact of the angle slam. And then basically Samoa Joe just got the pin from that. And I thought that was a good finish. And I thought, like, the matches I saw from it, like, made, like, quite an alright pay-per-view, you know. Like, plenty more action than a lot of WWE stuff. Right, on to Raw. Now, Raw... Oh, I don't know. It just... It just, like, really fails to captivate these days, you know. But, like, being a, a WWF person, a WWE person, i still got to watch it and look at it and that. And it started off with a stupid thing, like, with 
like the Triple H music and everyone popping and like God, I don't know, I'm just I'm weary about Triple H coming back, like you know, I mean it's ever since like the beginning of the two thousands, like when he like just always had the title it pissed me off, like, it, put, it, like, put me off wrestling for a good few years, you know, and, like, now we have the same thing with, like, John Cena, and that sucks, but, yeah, there's this, like, King, King Booker came out and was saying, like, how, oh, like, no one should be a king but him and stuff, and then he had, like, this ridiculous thing with Jerry Lawler, and it was just stupid, and then there was like a four-way like match, the number one contender for the Intercontinental title, and oh, the finish to this was fucking awful, right? Had Shelton Benjamin and Jeff Hardy, yeah, and like basically Shelton, it looked like Shelton was gonna put him up for a power bomb or something, but he just like flipped over and Jeff Hardy. It was one of the worst finishes I've ever fucking seen in my life. He just like flipped over and just lay there. God, they, they really are making Shelton Benjamin look like some kind of fucking monkey, you know? I know this has been said plenty of times, but, like, God damn it. God damn it, you know? He's great. Like, I, matches I saw, in the Money in the Bank matches, the first two, I, I would say he was the man of those matches. He was cool. Then there was, like, a match, Cody Rhodes against Randy Orton. I don't know what's happening with Cody Rhodes. Apparently, he's meant to be a big star in the making, but he just looked like fucking Santino Morella, right? And his like job rate and stuff. It's fucking awful, man. And Randy Orton, God, I, I think he's a good heel and all, but he ain't nothing special in the ring. Not at all. And there was also um. Ken Kennedy against Super Crazy. I'm missing out a lot of stuff here. I, I realise this, but I'm just, like, going over pointers. And, like, oh, I don't know what the fucking point is in this. Kennedy's meant to be, like, a new big star or whatever. But it's just not working out, you know? And I noticed at the end, so I, I don't know whether it was just in his heel character. After he pinned him, he, like, punched Crazy in the face. I just wonder what what's that about, you know? And all through the show, they were showing segments of who's going to win, oh, Lashley and Cena. And they had Stone Cold Steve Austin give, like, real unpassioned prediction about Lashley winning and stuff. But, like, this is fucking ridiculous. They're billing it to be, like, the next Hogan and Warrior or something. But it's, it just doesn't cut it, you know? Like, n both of them need someone to work off of. I mean, Hogan and Warrior have their own natural charisma, but John Cena is just, like, someone you can't help but to, like, be disgusted by, you know? Because he should have lost ages ago, and I think he's going to lose to Lashley this weekend, which is bad, because, like, there's been plenty more people deserving of kicking Cena's ass for the champ. And, of course, it, like, ends on, like... This Lashley and Cena face-to-face -face business, which is fucking bullshit, like. And basically, like, it was just a, like, ooh, ooh. I can't talk, I'm Bobby Lashley. And, yeah, it's just fucking bullshit. Anyway, that's, like, my fragmented thoughts on Raw and Victory Road. But I've also found out... That because of Edge had an injury and he's going to be out till November. The God, like WWE is being killed by these injuries because guess who has the title? The Great Khali! Fucking terrible, if you ask me. And do you know what's going to happen? I reckon, like, he's going to drop it to Batista on Sunday. And if not, or even if so, like, that's, they're going like, to have a program for the fucking title, like, for months to come. This is what WWE's come to. It's fucking ridiculous. And now they're, like, relying on, like, Triple H's comeback. And, like, I'm just not excited by that shit whatsoever, you know? They should have elevated their stars, like Carlito, Shelton Benjamin. These are people with charisma or, or, and or ring skill. And, like, it's ridiculous. And another thing.